we had with Grill Glass 1 and 2, we uh, improved the damage or the uh, chemical strength of the glass. With the Grill Glass 3, we went back to the chemical composition of the glass and actually improved the glass through means of uh, changing the atomic structure of the glass. So, here on the left hand side, we have an alternative glass, a, uh, a, a competitor glass that has been, uh, uh, forces have been applied to it, and the lateral cracks you see there are the actual scratches that you see when you scratch your device. With Gorilla Glass 3 with NDR, the, uh, the, native, the native properties of the glass allow the glass to absorb that impact. So you don't see those lateral cracks, so you don't see scratches in your glass. What that means to you is up to three times greater scratch resistance, uh, less scratch visibility, and up to 40% greater damage resistance if that glass is scratched. To further illustrate that, we'll show you a little video of, uh, of a scratch comparison between a soda lime glass, a competitor's aluminum silicate glass, Gorilla Glass 2, and Gorilla Glass 3. So what we're doing here is we're applying a scratch load with a Newton dinner, and we're going to load that up with a, a Newton, a Newton force uh, per millimeter. And as you see here, the soda lime glass is already scratched to one Newton. The competitive glass is already starting to scratch to two Newtons. According to Gorilla Glass 2, it's still not showing any lateral cracking. It's still not showing any lateral cracking up to four Newtons. We keep going and applying more and more force as we try to scratch across, and all the way up to greater than five Newtons before you see a lateral crack. Gorilla Glass 3 is still not showing any lateral cracking, all the way up to eight Newtons. So you don't see any lateral cracking for Gorilla Glass 3 all the way up to eight Newtons. That's way better than any of the competitive glasses on the market. To further illustrate that, we're going to show you guys a live demonstration here. The glass, uh, we're going to have two, two glasses. Uh, competitors, aluminum silicate glass, scratched at seven newtons. This is a microscopic view of that glass. And we also have the recordings for glass three with NDR with the seven newton scratch. So I'm going to go over here, talk to Lisa here. She's going to do the, uh, the testing here. What we have here set up is a industry standard ball drop test. It's a 135 gram ball. That's commonly used in the industry to test glass. Uh, and right here, we have the uh, competitor's aluminum silicate glass that's been scratched with a 7 newton load. That glass is 0.7 millimeters thick, which is standard for uh, smartphones. And she's loading it into the system here, and she's going to let it go. And as you can tell, right there, that glass is broken. Failed to mention, that's a, that's a 10 degree incline. So as you can tell, that glass broke. Now, she's going to put a piece of Gorilla Glass 3, same 7 newton scratch at the uh, same thickness of 0.7 millimeters. So we load it to the test fixture. And there you go, there is no break on that glass. There's still a 7 newton scratch, but the glass did not break. Now, at Corner, we always try to find ways to make the glass even better. Or we want to push that envelope even further. So she's looked, she changed up the incline, it's now at 30 degrees, which is going to give you three times greater impact energy when the ball strikes the, uh, the glass. What right, she's showing you now is a piece of aluminum that's a little bit thicker than 0.7 millimeters. And she's going to load that into the fixture and show you exactly what we mean when we talk about increasing that impact energy. So she let the ball hit that, uh, that piece of aluminum, and there's a nice size of a dent in the aluminum there. You wouldn't, want to, you wouldn't want to put your finger in that, you know, just, just to be certain. So next, we're going to put another piece of Gorilla Glass 3 with a 7 newton scratch, 0.7 millimeters thick. And she's going to do the same thing. There you go. Two impacts, and the glass still did not break. That glass has been scratched, and that glass is still holding strong, holding really together. So, to go, let's take it a little bit further. We're going to put it into a mini press, which is a ring on ring tester. And Lisa's going to load it up to up to 100 pounds. She's going to apply a load that's going to go all the way up to 100 pounds. And she is just breaking on it there. Still, the glass did not break. That's the advantage you get with Corning Grill Glass 3. Now, I'll talk a little bit about what we have here at the booth. We have an 82 inch multi touch, multi -touch display by Microsoft. It is the largest motion test display. You guys can come up here and play with it after the show. Or we also have a 55-inch uh, display on the right-hand side, a multi-test display as well. Both are made by Microsoft. 